Alright guys, in this video we have this quite simple question. It says x raised to the power of 2 plus 5x plus 25 is equals to 0. And we have to solve for x cubed, that is x raised to the power of 3. Alright, you can pause this video and give this question a try. I would like to see your answers in the comment section. Sorry. So, first of all, we are going to write our question and name that equation 1. So we have x raised to the power of 2 plus 5x plus 25 is equals to 0 and that is our equation 1. So again, we are going to form an equation 2 and we are going to see, we are going to use this on the later part of this equation. So we can write our equation 1 as x raised to the power of 2 plus 5x is equals to minus 25. So we are going to name that equation 2 and drop it just right here. Now, going back to our equation 1, we are going to multiply through by x. So this is going to give us x brackets x raised to the power of 2 plus 5x plus 25 is equals to 0. That is, 0 multiplied by x is still going to give us 0. So it's 11 multiplying it by x. So finally, this is going to give us x multiplied by x cubed. Sorry, x multiplied by x squared is going to give us x cubed. Then x multiplied by 5x is going to give us 5x squared. Then plus x multiplied by 25 is going to give us 25x all equals to 0. Now again, I'm going to rewrite this equation as x raised to the power of 3 is equals to minus 5x squared minus 25x. Now because we are solving for x raised to the power of 3, that is why we isolated x raised to the power of 3. On the right hand side, you can write our equation as minus 5 bracket x squared plus 5x. Now looking at the right hand side, you can see that they are just the same. That is this first step and this second step are just the same. When you multiply minus 5 with x raised to the power of 2, it's still going to give us minus 5x. And when you still multiply minus 5 with positive 5x, it's still going to land us to our minus 25x. So let's solve them. Now, remember when I told you we are going to use our equation 2 again? Now this is the time. We have x raised to the power of 2 plus 2. Now we have x raised to the power of 2 plus 5x in this bracket. I remember in our equation 2 we said that our x raised to the power of 2 plus 5x is equals to minus 25. So we are going to simply substitute that. And finally we have that our x raised to the power of 3 is equals to minus 5 multiplied by minus 25. So the minus is going to cancel the minus and we'll have our final answer as x raised to the power of 3 is equals to 1, 2, 5. That is 125. I hope you got your answers right. Thanks for sticking through to the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe.